Getting back on track. Understanding, back on the wagon. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that often pops up in everyday English. Back on the wagon. Understanding such phrases not only improves your language skills but also helps you grasp the cultural nuances of English. So, let's dive right in. The expression, back on the wagon, has an interesting history. It originates from the early 20th century, a time when water carts, or wagons, would spray streets to settle the dust. People who had given up drinking alcohol were said to be on the water wagon. When someone started drinking again, they were off the wagon. So, when they stop drinking once more, they get back on the wagon. Today, the phrase has broadened beyond alcohol and can refer to any kind of self-improvement or discipline. For example, if someone had stopped their habit of daily jogging and then started again, they could say they're back on the wagon. It's about returning to good habits or practices after a period of not doing them. Let's look at some examples. 1. After eating a lot of junk food during the holidays, I'm finally back on the wagon with my healthy diet. 2. Jane used to practice piano daily. She took a break but now she's back on the wagon. These examples show how the phrase can be used in various contexts, not just related to alcohol. A common mistake learners make is using this phrase in the wrong context. Remember, it's specifically about returning to a positive habit or behavior after a break. It's not used for starting something new or for negative habits. I hope this video has shed light on the phrase, back on the wagon, and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. Remember, learning a language is not just about words, but also about the stories and cultures behind them. Keep practicing, and you'll be fluent before you know it. See you in the next video.